Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be doing a reading about Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. We're going to be looking into their union, their connection. And we're going to be looking into the... Okay, so let's get back to this. That was a call, phone call from my mom. That had to mean something. I feel like, uh, just right off the bat, I feel like Megan's mom cares very much about Harry and Megan, and she wants their marriage and their union to be successful. So that's something I got from there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look then at how they are re feeling about each other. What are their feelings about each other currently? And then I was going to look into, I'm going to ask if divorce is imminent with them. I've heard a lot, there's, there is um, a, a lot of buzz about it. People wondering if they're going to get a divorce based on, I don't know, whatever evidence they saw out there. I don't know, whatever evidence that they've seen. Uh, they're wondering if those two are going to get a divorce. So I will, based on the way the cards are looking, uh, do a reading about that at the end. Okay. All right. Just a quick look. And so we can see what's happening there. Kind of gauge the energies again. I'm going to start having this disclaimer. No tarot reading. Please listen. No tarot reading that anyone does is 100% accurate. Only God knows the future. But as far as uh, tarot readers, mediums, oracles, we're picking up on impressions. We're picking up on uh, the wavelengths. Okay, we're, we're picking up on like almost like I would say something akin to radio frequencies of the waves of what's coming in the future, right? There's a, the future is a wave function and so it's not a stable thing it's in flux and so what we're doing per each reading is we pick up what we can anyways my point is um, I, I take the tarot readings that anybody does anybody with a grain of salt very important and that'll help you enjoy these readings more and be less hooked on it's got to be 100% accurate because that's impossible that is impossible I'm not promising that on this channel I'm just I'm not um, but I do have a fair amount of accuracy uh, that I've seen in my cards. Uh, pretty decent, actually. I get some details wrong. Those are called distortions, but they're minor. They're not a major feature, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is coming in the future for these two, okay? How are they feeling about each other? What's next in their relationship, right? And is divorce imminent, okay? All right, let us begin. Oh, and if you would like to see the shuffling and card selection process for this reading, please note that I moved that to the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so um, pardon the background noise. It's cicada season out here. So let's go ahead and begin this reading. And I had the images of Harry and Meghan firmly fixed in my mind as I shuffled and pulled these cards. So the signal should be pretty strong. Okay, let us begin. We have the Four of Swords. So, rest comes to mind with this card. Interesting energy there. Let's keep going. I like to just do basic meanings and just basic impressions at first. Um, and then come in for a deeper after I've flipped some of the cards. Okay, so let's take a look. Both acting like brats. Okay. Oh, I see two little kids here. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Archie and Lilibet. I just, that's just coming through very strongly. I feel like he's taking a rest from the kids right now. Or maybe he feels like she's taking a rest while he watches the kids. Or perhaps he's taking a break and letting Megan handle the brats. <laughs> How cute. How cute. I love kids at that age, you know. At the toddler age. So adorable. So adorable. Alright, let's go ahead and get a clarifying charm and dice for each of these. Be right back. Okay, take a story for me. Take a story, could you please clarify the four swords cards here for me? We'll do one rune, uh, one charm. Take a story, could you please clarify? Alright, so I got a charm and rune for both cards. Let's see here, we're getting uh, the axe. Okay, I feel like he's someone's axing some wood in the backyard getting some ch wood chopped to bring it back in and get it burned in, in the fireplace okay that's interesting so perhaps okay let's let's look here and i'm getting a very like chop wood carry water vibe with this you know just day in day out daily tasks chores but it feels like maybe he's resting from chores that's how he feels about her okay interesting she believed she could so she did mm. 
sort of severance with the um, axe there. Okay, there's a sense of severance. And I see also a sense of rest. So I feel like he's sort of like, you know, cut things off. This is how he's currently feeling, so we gotta take it in context, which is he could be taking a break, literally, right now. Like, like maybe he's letting Megan watch the kids while he takes a break. All right, he's saying, all right, because an axe means severance. Axe all here in the backyard, especially in the backyard, especially in the context of chopping wood in the backyard, means work. He's resting from work. So I feel like maybe he views, Harry views Megan and Harry as a working couple. Mm -hmm. And I feel that he's like, I'm taking a break right now. Okay, maybe while she continues to work. I see here, she believes she could, so she did. So I feel like that's referring to Megan. He's thinking, she's got this. She's got this. She's working on things. She believes she could, so she did. She's doing. And so he he's thinking, you know, she's doing something while he rests. Okay, so I almost getting the feeling like they take turns working and resting. That's interesting. And it has to do with the children. So I feel like she's watching the children right now. Look, they've got lollipops in their mouths. And here's a spoon. <laughs> These cards, man. I just, I love, I love this job. Okay, so I feel like maybe she's either feeding them. Mm -hmm. She's taking care of them for sure right now. And at, while they're at home, I see this turret or like a symbol of a castle or a tower here. So he feels that she has the kids safe, okay? Castles in, in, imply uh, fortitude, right? Or protection. And I feel like Harry thinks that Megan is keeping the kids safe and feeding them right now. That is fascinating, okay? That that's what's coming through. He's just taking a break while she works. Or perhaps he's taking a break from the kids while he works outside chopping some wood, bring it in for burning. I don't know. It's not winter, I don't think. Um, it's not cold over there where they're living. I don't know where they live, <laughs> honestly. I think California. Uh, anyways, my point is, um, I think they're just taking breaks in chores right now. He's maybe taking a break while he's resting or doing something else while she watches the kids. I get the feeling like maybe they switch. And he's thinking she believes she, she believes she could, so she did. So he's like, he let her take charge of the kids while he goes to go get some rest. And he, he, she was like, I've got this, hon. I've got it. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? Okay, let's move on to the next card. We're seeing justice. Justice gives a sense of law and order, balance, fairness, right? So I get the feeling he thinks that she plays things fair. He feels that she's fair, that she's truthful. Or maybe this is challenged in some kind of way. We're going to find out, okay, as we go along. But right off the bat, or there's feelings of maybe legalities surrounding Megan, he feels. Okay, there's some sort of issue, like there's a question that needs to be answered, or maybe the scales need to be weighed correctly. There's, we need to discover something, right? We need to ascertain if the facts are just, legal, correct, that kind of energy as well. Let's see what the Oracle card beneath is saying, intuitive insight. So this implies he doesn't know something about Megan and would like to know something about Megan. Look, this is, I mean, I've literally got a crystal ball right here. <laughs> crystal ball, crystal ball. So I feel like he's, there are some things he doesn't know about her and would like to know, things that are unknown. And he wants to know something about Megan. That is interesting. We're definitely getting some clarification on this. I'll be right back. Take a spirit, could you please clarify for me? Take a spirit, could you please clarify for me the justice card? Take a spirit, could you please clarify for me the intuitive insight card? All right, so we are getting reindeer. Now, a reindeer with horns that extensive implies age, right? The older and more s solid and um, more f established something is, the longer and more complex the horns on the reindeer or the moose are. So I get the feeling that there's a long-standing question. Perhaps this is a long-standing question that he's had, okay? But I see the dove of peace here, but he's just preferred to keep the peace instead. Okay, he's been choosing peace over trying to understand this, but now it feels like he's choosing to address this long-standing issue in order to create peace. Okay, before he was avoiding it. Yeah. So, anyways, but that's that. Um, so that's interesting. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, handshake here. Intuitive insights. He wants to come to an understanding, and he wants to come to an agreement with her. Okay. He wants to come to an agreement with her on something. And I see cherries. So this is about sustenance. This is about, and these fruits are very healthy. They're very, they're very good for you. Cherries are good for you, good for your health. It's got some powerful plant compounds in there that uh, like improve your sleep, 
and improve your heart, improve heart function. Really powerful, healthy fruits. So I feel like he wants health for their relationship, okay? Harry wants health and Harry wants peace, okay? That's what he wants for the relationship. And he wants to come to an uh, agreement about keeping their relationship fed and healthy, okay? Um, I want to get more, I want to get additional insight into this justice card. Be right back. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, wow, we've got a cataclysm. I mean, this is like a tower, you know, the tower card with a big um, tower is being struck down, down by lightning and, and it's burning, it's a blaze, you know, and the fire is just spilling out and people are jumping out of the building because they don't want to get burned to death, they got to pick one. So there was a big disaster that occurred, a big disaster. Um, perhaps it is because of what happened in England, okay, with how things unfolded there, okay, in England, that it didn't go so well. It was a disaster in England. Uh, and I feel like he wants to either come to some kind of legal agreement about this. Oh, sorry. He wants to come to some kind of legal agreement about this, or there's something he wants resolved about it, okay? And I feel that he is focused. You can see these swans here forming a heart shape, okay? That he's focused on his intimacy, and his connection and his love with Megan, okay? It's very important to him. And he felt like he's balanced the scales. That's what it is. He feels like he's balanced the scales between this long-standing disastrous issue, okay? And the love and peace in his marriage. He's found a balance, yeah. He feels that he's found a balance. He's, he's sought justice. He was like, whatever tried to destroy us, whatever tried to hurt us, I have brought justice to it. And now there is peace. There's love in my relationship. Yeah, it's a victory. So that's the way the, the, the scales are going, is is balancing out this, you know, bad thing that happened and making sure the good things are happening. So he's found a way to keep it that way. And he feels like they're a long-standing marriage, that their union is gonna, has been long-lasting and sh shows very promising signs, in his opinion, of continuing to be long-lasting, okay? So here we see a handshake and, yeah, so I think he they've made an agreement okay they made an agreement to sustain their relationship you know keep it healthy all right maybe he's saying I'm looking into the future okay he's feeling like he's looked ahead into the future and his intuition tells him that things are gonna go well between him and Megan and that their relationship is gonna be healthy and fed that's his intuition about Megan you know everyone's got intuition everybody some people have a really strong innate knack Others have, you know, they got they got their moments, you know, but everyone's got intuition and he feels very strong. Okay, he feels like there is a cooperative energy here, handshaking, here the the swans' heads are touching and they're forming a heart shape. There's peace, things are well fed, look, there's feeding, and look, some someone else is being fed here. The kids are being fed too. Alright, with love, with with attention, with wholesomeness, with life, with vitality. You can see the sun shining from behind of the back of Lady Justice's head there. Okay, let's go ahead and move on, on to the final column of how is Harry feeling? How has he been feeling about Meghan? Okay, uh, Harry Mountbatten Windsor, Prince Harry. Let's take a look. We have the High Priestess, right? Uh, the High Priestess is a card of intuition. You know, I keep getting, we've got the crystal ball here. Oh my gosh, another crystal ball. Now we got three crystal balls. One, two, and three. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Okay, here's what I'm thinking is that he feels very like in tune with M Megan. Harry feels like he can read Megan's mind, yeah. He feels like he can he can kind of sense what she's feeling and that he has some hidden knowledge as well, maybe about her. He sees her behind the scenes, right? He f Harry feels that he's seen Megan behind the scenes. You know, the, the traditional high priestess, he, high priestess is sitting indoors with a curtain drawn, right? There's a curtain, that's the veil between the realms and she is covered and she cannot be seen from the other side and I feel that he thinks that he's seen her okay well perhaps he feels like she's hiding something too that's another way to look at this let's move on to the oracle card we have still not over you oh my god I get it now you see the high priestess is also the card of makeup models beauty the the slim beautiful woman who gives off like young vibes okay we got the maid the 
the maid, the mother, the crone, she's the maid. Okay, but the maid and the mother of the crone are all inside of the high priestess. But, you know, she tends to present the maid, right? The young um, woman. And so he feels like she's keeping it pretty, slim, beautiful. And he is entranced by her beauty. That's the first thing I'm seeing. He still thinks she's very hot. He still thinks he married the like the woman who does it for him. Okay, um, she, like she's hitting the spots. All right. Uh, additionally, he has some unexpressed thoughts and feelings about her. I feel that they're positive that he hasn't told her about. We're gonna we're gonna go deep here. Okay, we're gonna get some clarification on this. But that's how he's feeling about her. Okay. Let me see. I want to see if there's some secrets and like I feel like there's something he knows about that about her that's a secret to everyone else that he absolutely, absolutely loves about her. Something secret and hidden about her that he loves about her. Let's get some clarification. I'll be right back. There's a high priestess. But it's still not over you. Six cards, thank you. Okay, so, you know, <clears throat> this is interesting. The 12th house represents limitations, um, things that keep you up at night, things that worry you, okay? That's very interesting to turn up here, okay? So there's some secret about M M Megan that worries uh, Harry, okay? Oh, you know, perhaps he's worried about her in some kind of way. He's worried about Megan, yeah. Okay, when it comes to, oh, he worries, does Megan love him? Oh my gosh, that's Cupid. That's Cupid, guys. Oh my gosh. He's like, does she still love me? He worries about that with her. Wow. Wow. Okay, I did not expect to see that. You know, and like, any, you know, Harry is human. He, and we wonder sometimes, does our mate love us, maybe? You know? Or how are they, are they feeling just as strong about us uh, as when they met us? How do they feel about us now compared to when they met us? You know, you know, just... You know, he wonders. He wonders about the love. Like, is she feeling love for him? Because he's really into her. Okay, so we're getting a camera. So this is about taking records or maybe having a memory in your mind that you you kind of, you know, you've, you've taken a picture. Your subconscious is taking a snapshot of something that happened. And it's her. He's like, she's, he feels that she's picture perfect, guys. Yeah, he likes looking at her. He feels like she's very easy on the eyes. He feels like she's very easy on the eyes. He's absolutely smitten with the way she looks. He feels very lucky, very blessed. We have a money tree here. He feels like when it comes to like what he sees when he looks at her, he feels that his eyes are have been blessed with a feast. <laughs> okay? He's like, how did I get so lucky? He's like, you know, he got the best. He feels like, you know, think about a tree, a money tree, okay? Growing, perpetually growing coins, perpetually growing things okay growing what you need it never stops it just continues to give you fruit he feels that she she continues to be easy on the eyes she continues to even as she grows and and matures and her body changes she still remains the apple of his eye you know that is beautiful that is beautiful all right let's go ahead and move on to megan's side how is megan feeling about harry these days let us begin really curious we have the ace of coins oh that's a beautiful card and it's a, it's a card of stability. She feels about him that, you know, they have a secure connection, okay? Um, she feels like um, her relationship is filled with opportunities for um, stable growth. And, you know, I feel though that this is like a beginning card, which is interesting, you know? Like she's still working towards commitment. She's still working towards building a stable connection toward, uh, with Harry. She feels like their. I feel like she feels their relationship is new. Wow, that's interesting. She feels like it's in the beginning stages, and you know that makes sense. That makes sense. They they got married, and they just now have little babies. You know, little toddlers. That that's near the beginning. You know, the the teenage years haven't come yet for the kids. You know, the twilight years haven't come yet. They you know the retirement years haven't come yet. So yeah, you know she's. I, I think she's being wise. But she, She's kind of conservative there, though. I mean, I think they've spent some time together, but but she's right. Generally speaking, I think that they are still new, okay? She feels their marriage is new, and it's an opportunity to create more stability and to create um, growth, okay? We have taking notes. Wow. She is taking her connection with Harry very seriously, guys. Very seriously. And we got this um, vibe from her in her readings in the past. She's very, like... I don't want to say OCD, but she's very, uh, like... She pays attention to details and, and very fastidious and very... Um, 
meticulous. She has that side to her personality. Um, she she has it has to be a certain way. You know, she's kind of picky and particular. So let me go ahead and clarify these cards here. I'll be right back. Card. Okay. Eight of coins. Take a spirit. Could you please clarify for me? So I feel like she's paying attention. She's been taking notes. I feel like she pays attention to Harry's preferences, to what what's not working for him, what's not working for them. She takes note of what like their union. You know, I feel like she's the secretary of their relationship. She's taking notes. You know, she's like, oh, oh, you don't like that, Harry? Noted. I'm gonna take note of that. Okay. Or she has an assistant take notes. I don't know what it is, but I feel like she's keeping track. She's got she's got her eye on the ball, guys. You can see this lady's got her eye on the ball, right? And um, noticing something on Harry's side, I feel like he loves the fact he loves the fact that she's very focused. He loves that about her. He feels like she's a money making opportunity. He feels like she's gonna be wealthy too. Mm -hmm. He feels like she's gonna be very wealthy because she keeps her eye on the ball. That's what he's seeing. He's seeing focus. There may be doubt about her success. There may be. You know, all kinds of uh, ebbs and flows and highs and lows in the public opinion or in business or whatever. But what he sees at home, privately, right behind the curtain, indoors, is her intense focus. And he feels she's going to win because of her intense focus. He feels like she's going to win the money game. That's another thing I saw here for them. And he loves that about her. He loves it. <clears throat> Let's look at the next column here. Let's go back to Megan. So, yeah, so she takes this relationship very seriously. We're seeing a globe here. Wow. All right. Interesting. So she feels like um, Harry. She feels also feels about Harry that he he's a financial opportunity. I think she feels like ha Harry represents financial opportunity. That's how she feels about him. And she feels that this is something that has been unspoken. She doesn't say that to Harry. Okay, I think she knows better. <laughs> I don't think she wants to call him. You're a money-making opportunity, babe. I love you. You know, maybe in jest, but uh, I don't think that she wants him to be viewed that way. I just think that she views him as an opportunity. I think that she feels like she views him as an opportunity to take over the world. Okay, this is an unspoken truth that she wants them to dominate, and um, and she also wants to travel the world with him. She feels like Harry is an opportunity for her to you know become worldly so anyway so i'm also seeing with a notes here that we're seeing a temporary setup like a circus tent and then we're seeing a passport okay yeah so i think that what she's noticing about harry okay what she is picking up on about harry is that he's going to want to travel mm -hmm. and he's going to want to set up a temporary like something else set up or maybe not temporary but just set up house S somewhere else that he's going to be traveling to this could possibly be the UK you see the passport there she's thinking that he wants to travel and set up shop or set up a house somewhere else um, perhaps temporarily because the circus tent is a temporary thing I mean it's there for some time while the circus is in town but then they pack up and move on to the next town or whatever so I think that she feels like um, she's taking notes on that for him maybe she's helping him set that up too I feel like she's helping him pick out where they're gonna be what the house they're gonna be buying and helping him get his passport set up you know I got also a very administrative vibe from Megan in past readings as well okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the next column so I'm getting a very administrative and business-like <laughs> vibe I wow this is how she feels about him she stays focused she's very productive and she's kind of like running there kind of runs their life she does the administration she's very on top of things like we saw with the eyes on the ball here very on top of things okay so we have the chariot she feels like they're going places guys she feels like their relationship is set for a certain course and it is staying the course that there's willpower there's a determination in their union she also feels like oh hiding something okay she's hiding something from him so when I see someone crossing their fingers they they've made a promise either to themselves or someone else about something. So I get a feeling that maybe she made a promise to herself about something. Maybe she made a promise that she is never going to quit their relationship, their union. She made a promise to herself. She's like, I'm never leaving Harry. Never. Okay? I'm going to stay the course. That's one way to interpret this set of cards. Now I'm going to get some, um, some clarifying dice and charms. And I'm really curious to see what this is about because we can't deny hiding something. What's she hiding, right? Be right back. <clears throat> Take a trip. Okay. Carry a card. Take a trip. 
Oops. Oh, two fell out. Okay, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I did want to just get one charm each, but we have two there. We'll go with it. Must be serendipity. Must be a reason for it. We have the eye, okay? And it's an eye of protection, too, all right? Especially with the blue showing all around it. And we he have here a bunny rabbit. Oh, with a tennis, playing, playing tennis and being very cute and shy. Okay. I think that, again, we're getting this keeping an eye on the ball vibe from here. You know, the eyes on the ball. Now we got the eyes on the road. Eyes, eyes on the road, on the destination where they're going, which the chariot represents willpower and determination, staying power, you know, drive, okay? Will. And I feel like she is determined to stay cute for Harry. She's determined to always be his cute girl, his cute girl, okay? For him to be looking at and enjoying. That's one interpretation. I'm also seeing, especially with the tennis in hand, that she wants to continue to stay in shape. Yes, she's like, I'm staying in shape. I'm going to be disciplined because of Harry. Um, and with being cute I've, and being shy, I think she's maybe wanting to become more shy, more reserved. Mm -hmm. She wants to become a more reserved person, a less outspoken person, a less out there kind of person, maybe. That's a change she's wanting to make for Harry. Maybe, okay? Or maybe that's something she's she's just saying, I'm determined to be like this for Harry. Well, this is how I feel. I think she also feels a little shy around Harry at times. That's possible. That's possible. Okay, let's keep going here, okay? I'm getting like Easter vibes too. I'm getting like a little girl, like little bit, okay? I feel like she's determined to keep an eye on little bit. It is, okay? Let's keep on looking here. So we've got the scales, right? Scales of justice. And we have justice here again. Look, scales and scales on his side and her side. So I think that maybe also they may have gone through a shakeup in their marriage because the justice card can represent divorce where he, they, he seriously considered divorce. But they overcame it and f favored peace and harmony. Okay, And I, maybe this is her side of it here. Maybe she's hiding that a potential divorce that was going to occur we have protected here and then we have handmade handmade oh my gosh guys you, did you notice that a hand and a hand a hand represents uh, power right a hand represents power the ability to do something right the ability to manipulate things with your fingers and you know it's a symbol of doing right the hand does things she's protecting her power in the relationship she's protecting her power in the relationship so what I see is that I think that Megan may have consulted with a lawyer they may both have I don't know okay and she has talked to a lawyer how do I protect myself that's something I've seen here okay she has protected herself she's figured out from a lawyer perhaps because especially with the justice card which represents the law legalities legal professionals judiciary um, side of things is she's wondering she's gone she's taken serious right the, the scales also represent seriousness the justice card represents seriousness she has taken her protection very seriously she may also feel protected by him but I, I get the feeling that with hiding something she has taken steps secretly yes to protect herself um let me get let me get a little bit deeper into this card. Let me get more clarification. Be right back. Sacred Spirit, could you just clarify for me here? This <sighs> Sacred Spirit, could you just clarify for me? Okay, so here we're getting another tent. Look, we're getting tents on both cards on her side. What is this about? So I just realized something. You know, the tent is a symbol of the Occupy movement which, I, as I understand it, the Occupy movement is a movement that has been sort of like fighting for the rights of people, like when it comes to democracy, like wanting more democracy in the world and wanting equal, equality for everyone. So I get the feeling that Megan has been fighting for, she wants equality in the relationship with Harry. Yes, she wants equality. That's why we keep seeing the scales and I feel like he ran up into that. They had a fight about equality. They had a, a big disagreement in their relationship about equality. That's another thing I'm seeing in the reading here. And he has come to terms with it. 
they've, they've healed it. He feels they've healed this issue, okay? With her needing to, you know, we can see the justice card with equality, with Lady Justice and the, the, the scales, that he feels like it's been, the problem has been fixed. But I feel like she took it very seriously. She On her end, she took that whole matter very seriously. And because she wants to be kept protected, she wants to her equality in the relationship with Harry to be protected. This is something that's very important to her that maybe she doesn't tell Harry a lot about. We it says here, it takes a big heart to teach little minds. That's what this charm's saying. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. She just feels like she's had to teach him, yes, to treat her more equally. Mm -hmm. She's felt like maybe maybe when they go out or when they do things, she's like she feels like he acts like he's more important than her maybe, or like in certain matters, she's felt like because I keep seeing the sun, the sun, the sun. So it has to do with popularity, being seen, being outside, and I get the feeling that she thinks that when they are outside, she wants him to treat her more equally. Okay, she may have also taken legal measures to make sure that she's going to be treated equally should anything bad go on. Okay, in the relationship, but I get the feeling that. She's, feel, she's been teaching him to pay attention to the little things, okay? To, to pay attention to people maybe who are less than he is. The Occupy movement is about equality amongst like, you know, like social class, um, the, the wealth gap. I think that's what they, their focus is. Um, and it's, a, it's called the Occupy movement. Please look it up. The tent is their symbol. So I get the feeling that she is wanting, she wants to be treated same as him. She's like, no, we're equal. That's what she wants. And he ran up into that. Perhaps he was, he'd fallen into certain habits. And there was something that, that had been there for a long time. Remember the long, the reindeer horns that had been there a long time. He'd fallen into certain habits. Uh, the tower represents a thought and things that have been built up under false assumptions. Okay, that's why when the tower is looking destroyed in a tarot card, you know, now forces from the outside have come to test it. And it has broken because it couldn't stand up against the rigors of outside truths, outside forces, because it wasn't true from within. Um, so that's so false thoughts, false assumptions. He feels that she challenged that. Prince Harry feels that um, Duchess Meghan challenged challenged that, and he's adjusted to it. He's accepted. He's made peace with it. He's unionized, unionized with her, and she feels protected now. Yes, she feels protected. She felt she feels like she has power now in the relationship. Yes, because the hands represent power, and she feels like the scales are balanced now, and that everyone's and she felt everyone's being treated equally with the occupy movement and she feels that she had to teach him this she had to teach him all right let's move on to the last column of how she feels about him this is fascinating i'm i'm fascinated so far okay we have the ace of swords again this is the card of imparting wisdom this is the card of teaching it's also the card of um a new knowledge discovering something new mm -hmm. the ace of swords represents new communication too right and a clarity of thinking okay so she feels like she's told him something She's had a breakthrough with him. She's shown him something with startling clarity, okay? And I'm getting the motivating card. Look, money. We see a money tree on his side. Look, dollars are showing up. We got money in the hand, more dollars. <laughs> wow. They think similarly. There are similar elements in their, I mean, in their readings. And you know, it makes sense. They're in a relationship together. So they're experiencing, they're on this journey together. They're married to each other. So they're, they're on this journey together. And so they're having similar experiences and having to tackle similar issues or there's incidents that they both share and they have to process through. Um, so here's what I'm seeing. Okay. I think that Megan ha has come to make a startling discovery. She has had her eyes opened. We're seeing the eye here and the eye there. Her eyes have been open to a certain truth that they need to make money, okay? That it's all about the money. And he knows that she sees that and he loves that about her. <laughs> He's like, she's set to work and they're doing things together. He loves that she loves money. That's another aspect. I didn't want to say that at first, um, but you know, they both love money. Both Harry and Meghan love money and they want to create more. And she's realizing, what? This is someone who's made a bunch of money. She feels that Harry is making bank. She feels like Harry's making a, a good amount of money. And she feels like she's trying to show Harry, look, I can make a lot of money. I can make money. She's realized that this is part of the power. She wants to be equal. She's got to prove she can make money. Okay, let's get some clarification on these cards. So, take a look at the two cards here the Ace of Swords. Take a look at the Oops, oh. I tried to get just one charm there, but... But we go with what we see here. Okay. All right. So 
we have the Ace of Swords and we have a bridge. She's built a bridge. You know, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm getting, it's water under the bridge. It's water under the bridge. And they've gotten over some issues. She feels like, th this is a card of victory also. She feels like there was a victory in their relationship when they overcame some hurdles. I also see crossing the pond, right? So she, I see them moving from England to America, right? So, you know, they've crossed the Atlantic, right? I feel like this, this stream, river, whatever is like the Atlantic. They've crossed and there's different land masses on either side, right? So they've, she feels like they've traveled. She feels like they had a victory because, because of, of, of clear thinking because they crossed the pond, okay? And they took, look, they kept their children on the other side. She feels like, she feels very, very, like she feels a sense of victory with Harry that they moved their children and their nest to America. She feels like they won, that that was a victory. That was a solid, shiny victory, okay? Um, fascinating, wow. And she also feels, I'm getting with the motivating card here, someone who's lifting weights, I think, someone who's exercising. Yeah, it's an exercise. Yeah, the theme is ex like sort of like activities, yeah. So someone's throwing a ball in the air. Someone's throwing a ball in the air. And uh, I see with a turtle is here, a turtle is longevity, right? Longevity and be, being able to handle emotions. And we're getting uh, traffic lights, which implies to me, you know, traffic lights tell you when to, you know, stop, go, you know, wait, slow down. You know, the, the traffic lights direct you. They keep, the traffic lights have power. They, they're, they're power, a symbol of power, okay? She feels like, Megan feels like she wants to play ball with Harry when it comes to following his instructions, okay? She feels like, you know, they're going to need to follow a certain set of instructions for a very long time, okay? And this will lead them to more cash. She feels motivated by that, okay? Part of why she stays married to Harry is... I'm so sorry to say this, guys, okay? I'm seeing that. We see money here. We see wealth. We see wealth. The Ace of Pentacles represents a financial opportunity. And here we're seeing someone here, a woman here, who's like, I'm about making my money. I'm about making money. So I'm going to tell you something, guys. I do not think that they're going to be getting a divorce based on what I'm seeing here. I feel that she's too committed to being successful. Megan is too committed to being successful. She has a lot of reasons why she is highly invested in this relationship with Harry. She feels like she wants to protect their kids together. She um, feels like she views she's very she's very secretarial and administrative about their relationship. She treats it almost like a business and a financial opportunity. Megan feels that her marriage, their marriage is an opportunity for, for them to make a lot of money. She wants to make a lot of money through her relationship with Harry, yes. And she has fought for equality in the relationship. I do feel like she might be open to traveling. She's taking notes on the whole process. She's taking notes on it. Um, I see the world here, the globe, so traveling the world. She feels like there might be an op a financial opportunity in store with doing that as well, traveling the globe with Harry. Uh, she wants to buy maybe property elsewhere. Um, besides America. I'm also seeing that, um, yeah, she wants to play ball um, with the relationship with Harry. She wants to be, she's in it for the long haul. We get that with the longevity implied by the turtle. And there's just a sense like she's going to follow all the rules. She will be following all the rules because she wants financial security. She wants to keep her baby safe. That's really important to her. You can see that there. Is it possible that they might have a third? Looks like they might have a third child because we have three eggs there. She might be think considering maybe having a third too that's a possibility it's a mild prediction at best okay excellent and that is what i'm seeing as far as how they feel about each other the next thing we're going to look into um their union is i'm just going to pull a few tarot cards and see what's coming up next and then i'm going to ask if divorce is imminent those are the next two so give me a moment and i'll be right back Okay, so I thought I'd use the tea leaf cards because we are slim on space and I didn't want to take down this pretty setup I've made here. So we're going to just ask point blank. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to do a row here and ask, are they going to remain? Uh, what what does the future hold for them in their relationship? And, I'm also, and then I'm going to do a stack of cards here asking or inquiring, are they going to have a divorce? Is there a divorce in their future? What are the cards going to pick up, right? All right, let's go ahead and get in there. Sacred Spirit. 
Okay, so let's get the scoop on this. Let's get the scoop. Okay, so we're seeing pin, new job, career. All right, so I feel like they are going to be working on their careers, guys. Megan and Harry are going to be focused on making money, like I said. They focus, look at the money tree. We got the dollar, the hundred dollar bills, stacks of cash. We got the money tree. They're going to be focused on their careers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a two-faced friend, right? So I get the feeling that at times their reunion will be great, but then at times it will be a, a little shaky. They might spaz out okay at each other I see a fight here right the tower in relationship readings can mean a fight can mean arguments can mean a divorce even possibly but um, but that's not what I'm seeing here it's just there's a spat or great shock some unexpected news in the relationship or some kind of unexpected um, the tower can represent something unexpected happening in the relationship that takes you by surprise and shocks you to your base okay yes so and changes what you think of the relationship forever so I get the feeling that he had a shake up with Megan saying, no, I need to be treated equally. And so he had to figure out what that meant and they, they solved it. They solved it. They definitely did. But I see here that, that, that no relationship is smooth all the way. I mean, I do not know of any flat line relationships that I've ever heard of. Okay. There's going to be ups and downs, peaks and valleys. There's going to be activity. So there's going to be times when things are intense and there's going to be times when, when things are docile. You can see the cat spazzing out and the cat's calm, cute, just kind of looking out the window, being sedate. And... Uh, calm okay so there's gonna be ups, some ups and downs amongst each other we have sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start so I keep getting venture new job career they're working on a business together they're gonna be focused on that guys they're gonna be foc focused on making that successful and I get the feeling with the Sun the card appearing it is they're gonna have success in their business mm -hmm. we have Valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success okay you know here we're seeing the Sun shining bright then here we're seeing it kind of like it's setting so I'm getting like vibes of longevity in their union guys especially with the Sun shining bright in the full of day and now it's setting um, and I also get the feeling that they're gonna there's a wall here you know a, a valley represents a wall of mountains which is a barrier a boundary a, you know a, a can be protective so I get two things from this is that their relationship is going to be protected they're gonna shield and shelter their relationship uh, they're gonna remain in the valley okay and additionally I, I feel like there's gonna be burdens uh, obstacles for their relationship to overcome in order to su to attain success okay there's a mountains between them and the sun which implies vitality and success so there's going to be some mountains to overcome in their relationship when it comes to attaining success but you know that the base of the mountain i mean it's climbable i don't know we'll see we'll see what the rest of the cards are saying we're seeing handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important so i get the feeling that they are going to be oh where did we see that handshake look handshake handshake wow guys they're gonna be playing team they're gonna be doing teamwork mm -hmm. that is very clear they're going to be team players they are highly committed to this union this venture to the success of their relationship and the venture that it implies okay um, I see that here and I'm feeling that from him I'm feeling that from her Okay, she's more about fight. She's more about security. She wants to feel safe. She wants their relationship to feel safe and stable. You know, I feel like she wants them to be rich. Okay, he wants them to be rich. Look at the money tree. Uh, who doesn't want to be rich, right? <laughs> so we have the dagger. Fears, worries, intense situations. They have concerns. Yeah, they have concerns. We've seen that sort of ongoing. There's a fight for equality in the relationship, maybe, or perhaps they'll have to deal with. Um, worries and tense situations when I say when I think situations I think externals right possibly like like where I see someone with a dagger here like they're being attacked or they got a fear attack from others I see that they, they will have to like you know we see the great clouds and this rain pouring we see someone with a dagger this cloak and dagger vibe of you know shadowy enemies and things like that so they, they do feel like they have enemies and they feel like there's some sort of danger lurking or looming mm -hmm. they will feel that but it's mainly fear and worry and tension. I don't think there's anyone who's actually going to. They're just going to have fear and worry and tension. We have both plenty of material things. Their business is going to be successful. They're going to be thriving. They're going to have plenty of money. They're going to be able to feed their kids. They're going to be able to handle their needs 100%. And they're going to have plenty. Their bowl is going to over, over, be over full. Okay? Next, we're seeing a wish is granted. Yes. So things are going to go very well for them in their, their union. That's what's coming next. They're going to have some sort of... when when the, As far as the wish that's being granted, I'm thinking it's profit or like you know income is going to come their way and so they're going to be happy about that i see that coming next for them in their union uh there's challenges but i get the feeling a lot of it is internal too they need to just take a deep breath and uh, you know 
just get into their lives together and don't worry about any of the shadowy nonsense that's looming around them they'll be okay that's what i'm seeing in the cards for them but let's see if divorce is imminent uh if what the cards pick up on okay sacred spirit is uh harry is harry mountbatten windsor and megan going to get a divorce let's take a look at these cards there's a ton of them wow flowers happiness they're in love they're in love the, i feel like this bird is sitting here amongst these beautiful fragrant flowers and this calm branch like ah oh, this is a good place i'm just gonna sit here for a while Wh why do i need to leave why do i need to go anywhere so what i'm seeing is that they're gonna feel very content in their union mm -hmm. great worry over nothing they're gonna worry at times i saw that here with tense dagger uh, we see fear with worries they're gonna worry sometimes about their relationship they're gonna feel pressures in the relationship i think normal relationship stuff and but the, it feels like they're gonna worry about it but it's gonna be they're gonna be worrying about nothing it says your great worry over nothing the problems will look big but in reality it's a gentle giant right whales are gentle and so they don't have to worry secret admirer i get the feeling that they're gonna stay hot and heavy with each other they're gonna stay hot and heavy with each other i mean it could imply that there's a secret admirer in their relationship someone who's wanting to get with harry or someone's wanting to get with megan but i don't know we're gonna have to um we're going to have to interpret this card according to what we see in the rest of the cards that are appearing here we have vulture depression anxiety worry that someone is against you so i do feel like they're gonna be worried a lot about the relationship you know now i'm getting a vibe like there is someone like a third party who might be hanging around them waiting wanting to see if they're you know vultures are opportunistic feeders if they see that there's an animal that looks like it's about to die or in or is struggling they're going to kind of circle around or they see um an animal that was attacked and dying then they're going to they're circling around waiting for that animal to become deceased so they can go eat it and so they focus on carry on they focus on um their their, their opportunistic feeders um i'm also getting someone who's waiting for their relationship to die someone is waiting okay and it could be someone who either has a crush on harry or has a crush on megan i'm not sure so i'm seeing some of that going on here as well there's a hint of it barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals i think there's gonna be times when they struggle definitely there's gonna be times when they feel empty i don't think this means divorce though it just feels like there's gonna be a sense of emptiness and there's gonna be challenges at challenging moments when they're low they're low on feelings they're low on money or they're low on this and i don't mean poor or broke i mean just low okay now i'm seeing clouds temporary problems and the reason i'm not saying broke is because they have plenty coming in obviously but i feel like life has ups and downs so it's possible they may become low again um so we they may become low in something in love yeah possibly in love their feelings might wane we see temporary problems there i see i said wane so in wane with using the word wane waxing is implied so there's going to be a waning and waxing to their relationship over the years so it's going to be temporary at times things will be waning like we saw things will be on empty for them but it's going to be you know so clouds are temporary they don't stay forever we have the beetle good fortune yeah the relationship is going to do be very blessed they're gonna, it's going to be very blessed okay and so with the beetle what i'm getting is you know uh, beetles represent persistence intelligence and you know persevering through tough times so i see that while when they when their feelings for each other you know dwindle a little bit okay all right when they have low times where they're not feeling as great about it, they're just not feeling as like oh love and you know all that like it's not booming like that and they're having some temporary problems in their relationship their relationship is going to weather the storm because the beetle says your good fortune symbolizes perseverance through tough times next we're seeing dark man okay we'll see why this dark man's coming up i'm going to tell you here in a bit we got goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth so I see someone growing, okay? It could be their son, Archie. Let's see here. I'm not sure. I see a man and an increase in spiritual growth. So here's what I'm seeing, okay? I'm seeing that Harry is going to grow as a person, guys. He's going to grow, and he's going to really seriously help their relationship out a lot. He's going to grow. He's a growing person. He's an evolving person. He's not like he's not one of those people where he's like, like I'm who you see, take it or leave it, and if you don't like who I am, that's who I'm always going to be. I'm never going to change. Uh, not changing or never changing means that you're never going to change for the better either right that's kind of what you're implying there with that statement but i feel like this is the opposite of what we're seeing this is someone who's going to grow this is someone who's going to mature into someone even more beautiful than they are currently in their soul in their spirit spiritual growth we see celebration fun enjoyment he's going to learn he's going to be the one who brings a lot of fun and happiness into their relationship he's going to make sure to keep that alive okay we've seen horseshoe they have a lot of good luck we saw good fortune with the um beetle now we're seeing good luck with the horseshoe okay 
we're seeing pineapple reconciliation yeah so i see that they're going to go through a time when things wane and they have some temporary problems in a relationship we definitely saw that we saw hints there's some ongoing issue or something it has to do with balance things being treated in a balanced manner because we saw the scales repeatedly uh but they're going to reconcile they're going to get over it mm -hmm. model unclear thinking yeah the issue is uh was that they weren't seeing things clearly yes they weren't seeing things clearly so once they see their way clear they will have a reconciliation they're going to realize we weren't seeing things clearly, okay, with each other. We're seeing a forest here, kind of a crowded forest, right? The trees are jam-packed. So I feel like they can't see the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. and I kind of picked up on that, that they get kind of caught up in the sort of like a cloud. There's a bubble, like a cloud bubble of their lives. And they kind of tend to fixate on their little problems. They need to understand that they cannot allow external influences to dictate how they are feeling about each other. Actually, I see a lot of sunlight in their relationship. I actually do. That's predominantly what I see. The sun's shining. You see sun's rays, sun's rays, sun's rays, sun's rays. Uh, sun's rays there again as well. So what I'm, I'm getting from all this is that um, there's an ebb and flow to their relationship. There's definitely going to be an ebb and flow in the way they feel about each other. Um, and I feel like they're going to become very swallowed up in their problems. Mm -hmm. They're going to have reconciliation, but then they're going to become swallowed up in their problems again. Okay. And then next we're seeing flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Mm. So here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that they will be with each other for a very long time. I do see that they're going to have troubles in a relationship at times. There's going to be some sort of letdown. Yes, there's going to be some kind of letdown that Megan experiences with Harry or Harry experiences with Megan. Let me get a dice and a charm for this so we can get some clarity on what this disappointment is. Take a spirit, put your please. In this friend or lover card for me, please. Okay, so we have footprints here. Okay, I feel like someone's at home. This is about like being at home, walking around barefoot. Um, also, it, this signifies for me baby, a baby. Whenever I see baby feet, whenever I see, see footprints, um, I think that they, they do a footprint, right? They do a footprint and put it on the birth certificate. So I get the feeling like maybe she'll want another baby. We saw that a little bit. That's one thing, okay? Um, I also get the feeling that the binoculars is about seeing very far away, bringing it closer to you. And the feet could symbolize a journey too. So I get the feeling that there's going to be disappointment as it relates to what they can see ahead of them about the journey to come. Okay, let me get more. I want to, I want to get... Okay, so we're seeing greedy, hmm, and then we're seeing a unicorn here, so we're getting a, like, an equestrian vibe. So I feel there's going to be some kind of disappointment, because there's going to be greed when it comes to movement, greed for progress. Let me try this again, let me try this again. Okay, so I feel like senior, right? This is a senior citizen, someone who's gotten older. And then we have a baby. Mm, that's a baby's foot. So here's what I'm seeing is that she's going to be disappointed. I think it's Megan who's going to be disappointed in Harry that they grew old and she never got that third baby. I think she wants another baby. I see three eggs here in the nest. She wants another baby. She's going to be disappointed with him that they didn't get a third one. That's a possibility. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. There's a disappointment here about becoming older and, and a baby. Okay. Let me get further get further, further clarification and then we're going to wrap up this reading. Here's the food card. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. So we've got someone cutting things. Yeah, we've got someone cutting things. Ooh. And then angels mm. watching over me so I think it is possible there will be a separation when they are older when they're senior okay when they're senior I think maybe after they taken care of the babies here's their angels watch over me I'm getting like uh, this is like a, almost like a cherub vibe and I'm getting a baby so I feel like she will stick around they will raise the kids they will protect their kids um, but I feel like when they're older she will nix it or that they will go their separate ways I see someone cutting but you know you can see though that this has not been cut all the way it's not been cut all the way so I get the feeling that they're gonna spend some of their time together when they're older and some other time apart when they're older 
well, that when they're older, they're going to spend some of their time together, some of their time apart. There is an element of being separated, definitely, yeah, coming up in their future, unfortunately. Uh, that's what the cards are seeing at this time. It's sort of leaning that way, but it's going to be when they are senior, okay? When they're elderly, when they're elderly. And that is what I'm seeing the cards. That's a little sad note there. Hopefully, you know, this changes, right? <laughs> I'd like to see them together. I'd like to see marriages thrive and be successful. I want to see Princess Catherine and Prince William thrive and be successful. I want to see marriages thrive and be successful. I respect the institution of marriage. Um, heck, I'm married too. So, I mean, I, I want my marriage to last. So I, I wish that for everyone else. Um, but it is what it is. And um, if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a like on this video, subscribe, share, and turn on the notification bell so that you can continue re receiving readings from me. If you enjoy this reading, where are you watching this from, okay? What state or part of the, the world are you from? I would love to hear from you. And if you have any comments or questions, place them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves now. Bye.